Hi, uh, my name is Tracy Bear, and we're going to be talking about uh, computer assisted coding. Um, so uh, I am at Santa Fe College. Uh, I am in HIM 2211. This is Healthcare Information Technologies with Mrs. Uh, Travick. Uh, today is 3 9 2020. Okay, so um, computer assisted coding, um, we have a lot of options uh, when it comes to computer assisted coding. And we're going to talk about what is computer assisted coding. We're going to talk about who uses computer assisted coding. We're going to talk about when did it start, where is it used, uh, how is it used. We're going to talk about all those things today. Okay, so um, computer assisted coding. Um, is known as CAC in the industry. So I'll be referring to that CAC throughout the presentation, and that means computer assisted coding. Computer assisted coding is a software that uses natural language processing and syntax processing to compare, contrast, and extract specific medical terms. What you do is you have the electronic health record you put it into the computer assisted coding program it extracts words from the health record and combines it to a code for procedural or diagnosis codes okay um, and it suggests codes to be assigned so what as we coders do is we will look at it see the codes that it points out, review those, make sure that they are what we want it to say, and, and we want it, the, the codes to match up with the record. Um, so documentation, if it's documented, if there's a, a problem where we need to query the physician for some reason, while there's not enough documentation, we can see that. Um, so Who's using it? Um, healthcare professionals, HIM professionals, and hospitals, coders, doctor's office managers for doctor's offices, outpatient facilities, cancer facilities, nursing homes, etc. Uh, there are a lot of different facilities that can benefit with uh, computer assisted coding. Uh, many companies provide uh, computer assisted programs. Um, some of them um, are uh, Phoenix Health, Adobe, uh, Artificial Medical Intelligence, Inc. Uh, but 3M is, you know, one that everybody seems to know and use 3M. When did uh, it start? Uh, the computer assisted coding started uh, with basically when the EHR, when the electronic health record. Uh, when it started, people thought, okay, well, we need something to help us coders code. Um, uh, it, 3M has had it since 2011. Shan started using it in 2005. In 2001, um, Massachusetts General Hospital uh, instituted its program in its radiology department because, believe it or not, they couldn't retain coders to do the work because Coders were overwhelmed with the amount of uh, technology with the electric, electronic health record, and they were just overwhelmed with the amount of, uh, of uh, charts that they had to do. So uh, people developed um, these programs. They've continued to develop them. Uh, they are used, like I said, first in the radiology departments. Now they're used just about anywhere coders exist, coding is this, uh, hospitals, doctor's offices. Uh, this is, is Shan's uh, radiology department. Um, so uh, different places use it, different facilities use it, different countries use it. Um, it's used uh, in just about uh, every country that has the electronic capabilities. Um, you know, Europe, uh, Asia, um, how is it used? Um, it's used to extract codes. Um, the natural language processing is like uh, computers get AP 
picture of what words it needs to look for. It looks for those words and extracts the codes according to those words. Um, like I said, radiology departments were the first departments to use them. Uh, the future of, of uh, computer assisted coding is uh, widespread. Um, are uh, coders um, afraid of losing their jobs? Yeah, it, it's, you know, uh, but I don't think just like any computer, it does not replace the human factor um, because it can only do so much. It can't look at it and go, oh, Dr. So-and-so didn't fill out the whole documentation. Um, so as humans, we can read it and see that there's missing parts. But as computers, they can't do that. Um, so it's it's going to help com coders. It's going to improve our working, uh, how we work, how we how we extract codes. But it's not going to replace us. Um, I don't think it will ever replace us. <coughs> Excuse me. And so you know the future with computer assisted coding is an exciting one, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I want to thank you for coming. Uh, I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate you listening to my presentation. Uh, again, my name is Tracy Bear, and this is uh, for Santa Fe College.